It's all about you, Michelle. I pray for you. Hello members, welcome to our farm, as today I want to take you through our Zola plant project and how it benefits us and how it helps us to make our poultry farming cheap and most efficient without use of any chemicals. As we taught you earlier in our last videos, as you go through our YouTube channel, on our farm every everything is just inorganic as we use no any chemicals in our farming practices so today as you can see here I'm in our Zola plant project and I'll take you through how it benefits us and how it helps us to make our farming most efficient and cheap so here as you can see this green plant is called azola and it's planted on top of water as you can see it's just a plant floating on top of water here as you can see so for those who may not know about azola i'll just give you a brief information about it azola is a type of aquatic plant which is grown on top of water and it's known for its rich nutrient content of vitamin proteins and calcium and mostly for our case here we consider the calcium content of azola as it helps us in our poultry section as a farmer you know most poultry the most common nutrient your poultry need is calcium so azola is known for its rich content in calcium vitamins and proteins so for our case here azola helps helps our our poultry project with by supplying them with more calcium and it provides us with very big eggs with strong shell and a very large and yellow yolk in our egg so today i will teach you how to plant this azola, how to harvest it, and how to feed it to your animals. So as you can see here, our azola, as we have several ponds up to the far end there. As you can see, it's doing very well. So, for you to set up an azola pond, first you will need a space to dig in your pond just a small pond like as you can see here our ponds are not that much big like the measurements is one by four one meter by four meters so your requirements are your first requirement you should you need just a small space to set up your pond and secondly you will need a liner as you can see here we have used liners you will need a manure mixed with soil in the ratio of one to one and we will need water and lastly the most important thing you will need the azola seedling as you can see which you can get from us as we supply it whenever you need or you conduct us or you visit us so you will dig a hole of any measurements according to the size of your liner and then you will place in your liner slowly and safely to avoid damaging your liner or making it when you put in water so that it may not lose water and lastly after you have placed your liner in your pond you will need to place in and spread on the floor of your liner your manure mixed with soil and last step you will put in water you will fill your pond with water at least three quarters quarter full and lastly you will spread your seed 
which is a solar seed on top of your water. Just a simple step like that, like in 7 to 14 days, you will start enjoying the fruit of azola and you will start harvesting. So, on the step of harvesting azola, you will need to harvest it with just a, a sieve or you should have a scoop net or you should have a basin like mine here. Let me show a basin like this with holes so that when you harvest a solar, you just move it on top of water like this and then you it picks only a solar as it leaves water as you can see here this is the harvesting procedure as you can see so here this is my azola and this is how it looks like so after harvesting you will spread it on on a flat surface like on a paper somewhere so that it drains all the water and how to feed it you measure according to the amount of feed you feed your animal like if you are like for our case here our poultry we have 10 kienyeji chickens and per day they feed on 3 kgs of feed so here comes where it saves us like if they feed on 3 kgs of feed we also you take 1.5 for feed and 1.5 for fazola then you mix then you serve them to your animals the magic gums like when you feed by azola the produce of your animals becomes more and the benefits more and your animals enjoy and grow big and the produce is really wandering thank you for watching that was just a few steps taking you through how to practice azola farming and how it ben it can may benefit you on your farm thank you for watching remember to subscribe and share our videos and also visit us on your our farm so that we can teach more you more about azola farming thank you all and you are welcomed to a farm so that you may learn more more things about farming